24. 25. 26. What are you doing, Finn? 27. Good night, Sky. I'm swimming laps. Why? 28. Don't you swim all day? No, not like this. This is exercise. 29. But why? 30. Whew. I want to stay in shape. You look fine to me. Sky, it's a fish eat fish world in here. I'm not exactly the top of the food chain, so I have to be smart and fit to stay alive. Oh, well, I guess we are so different. I just don't understand your anatomy or even how you breathe. Okay, let me give you a little lesson on fish anatomy. First of all, like you, we have eyes and a mouth. We also have these things right here called gills that are sort of like human lungs. Water goes in through our mouth and out through the gills. The gills take the oxygen out of the water and send that oxygen through the bloodstream and exchange it for carbon dioxide. So oxygen in and carbon dioxide out, just like human lungs do, except our gills get the oxygen from water. Wow, that's amazing. How do you get around without wings? Well, wings like yours would not work underwater. I suppose not. We have fins. My dorsal fin, anal fin, and pelvic fins give me stability while swimming. I move my caudal fin, which is also called a tail fin, to propel me through the water, and if I want to turn to go left or right, I just move my pectoral or arm fins. Oh, that's why your name is Finn. Also, you have an exoskeleton to protect you. We have bones that make up our skeleton, although some fishes have cartilage instead of bones. What is cartilage? It's sort of like a bone, only softer and more flexible. Sharks and rays have cartilage. So, are sharks the biggest fishes in the ocean? The biggest fish in the world is a whale shark. So is it a shark or a whale? Actually, it's a shark and it can grow to 46 feet long and weigh up to 15 tons. So, you weren't kidding about that food chain thing. No, I have to be able to swim fast and hide. So tell me some more about fish. Well, there's a shark that grows to four feet long. It's a horn shark. So, is he dangerous? No, he's a harmless shark. He mostly stays in shallow water, caves, and reefs. He doesn't look anything like you. Oh, no. He's light brown and has dark brown markings on his back. He has a lot more fins, a blunt pig-like snout, bumps over his eyes, and sharp spines in front of each dorsal fin. Wow. Oh, and he has five gill slits. His enlarged first gill slit is used to pump water in. Then the water exits through the four smaller gill slits. Since he doesn't need to bring water in through his mouth to breathe, he can eat and breathe at the same time. He can also breathe while he stands still. So what does he eat? Well, horn sharks eat mollusks, like oysters and snails, crustaceans like crabs, echinoderms, and some fishes. Their teeth are made to crush hard-shelled prey. They have wide and flat teeth in the front of the mouth and small sharp teeth in the back of the mouth. Oh, so no serious jaws-looking teeth. No, not the scary teeth you usually associate with sharks. Fascinating. Ocean life is so diverse. Tell me more. Well, we have a funny looking bloke here called a stingray. He's kind of a flatfish. He's closely related to sharks. He has no bones, just cartilage. Wow, he is different looking. He has a lot of fins too. Yes, and what makes a ray so different is that he has spines on his tail. Some rays have long, whip-like tails, and others have short tails. He can sting other animals and poison them. Is that how he protects himself? Yes, some rays even have a series of thorns on their body as a defense. Rays also vary in size and color. The short-nosed electric ray is the smallest ray, and it's the size of a pancake. What's the biggest ray? Well, the biggest is the manta ray. It could grow to 22 feet across and weigh tons. Gee, Finn, now I can see why you want to work out and be able to swim fast. Thanks for telling me all about ocean fishes. Anytime. There's thousands of fishes in the sea. 
So I always have a good fish story for you. It's getting late. I gotta fly. Have a good day, Sky. Later, Finn.